will be Senator Cassidy. Uh, Mr. Werfel, uh, congratulations for being nominated. Thank you for accepting. More, I, I thank even more your wife for allowing. Uh, so uh, thank you for all that. Uh, I'd like to continue the conversation that Senator Blackburn initiated, but it would be a, co a continuation of the conversation we had yesterday. Um, and for context, I'll submit for the record a publication by ATR speaking about the problems that the IRS has had for the last 40 years to upgrade its information system. For 40 years, there are headlines such as um, uh, 1.5 million tax returns delayed in processing from 1985. Um, in 1982, grossly short of the capacity and modern state-of-the-art efficiency essential for an uh, effective IRS system by the then director. Uh, 1986, IRS ends computer contract. The list of uglies just continues all the way up until now. My staff has looked to see that we're currently spending about, or IRS is, $200 million a year for uh, information services, which we presume is to upgrade your systems and to, monitor, and to uh, have them go. And the IRA gave the agency another $4.75 billion over 10. Frankly, this looks like good money after bad. You had mentioned yesterday the antiquated uh, uh, systems you have. And one of, these, one of these things I have says that something that was supposed to be completed in 2014, the GAO says will not be completed till 2030. So what I'm asking now is not to revisit all that, not your fault, but it's just a mess. And we're just wasting dollars on stuff for the last 40 years we've never accomplished. What are your thoughts about doing what the Department of Defense has done, which is to move this into the cloud to allow a cloud-based service, which as in its work for DOD has established that it can do things for the federal government with greater security, not the data leaks that were previously referenced, uh, and the ability to handle highly classified material, uh, as opposed to, again, one more time, uh, thinking that we're gonna redo something when we never do. Thoughts? Thank you, Senator. I think that this question about uh, information technology and how to make sure that going forward, IRS investments uh, are performing better for taxpayers is, is front and center in, in my priorities if I'm confirmed. To your question, and I just want to make a, a, a quick point, I spent a, a, a large part of my time at OMB, starting in the Bush administration, extending into the Obama administration, assessing the, the progress of information technology investments across government, and I learned a lot about why these projects tend to fail. One of the reasons, I think, is that we don't always have the right set of alternatives. Let me we, stop, though. Yeah. Because what you're really talking about is the current systems we have and why they are never upgraded. It looks like DOD just said, no, we're going to a different paradigm. Uh, and because of history is prologue, these systems are not going to get fixed. We're going to be talking about a system running on Fortran and COBOL in 10 years. So, so I'm asking about an openness to moving it to the cloud, allowing an entity such as does for DOD to manage these systems. And the point I was going to make, Senator, is that that should absolutely be one of the alternatives that is, that is investigated. I think there's been a, a theme during this discussion of, will you make decisions by, with evidence base? And I, and I will if confirmed. And, and I can only make a decision on IT if it's so, evidence-based if I look at that type of alternative and understand is that the best So let me stop you. I only have five minutes. That's why yes, I'm, I'm being rude. I apologize. No. Yes, sir. Uh, but you were at OMB. The thing that so impressed me under, two, under a Republican and a Democratic administration, you were like up to here in looking at information systems. Yes. You may have even weighed in on the deliberation for DOD to move over into the cloud. So knowing that this isn't something that you'll have to learn from scratch, but rather bring a great deal of experience to, um, as you weigh it, knowing that you may find something different, how does it weigh now? Yeah, I would give this serious consideration. I think, you know, I think we want to move systems into the 21st century. Um, and it goes without saying that technology that's enabled in a cloud, as you point out, can be secure. It can be more efficient. It often can be more cost efficient. And so absolutely it has to be an alternative. I, I, it's premature for me to give you an, a, a firm answer. I want to do the right thing and understand the process and, and go through the process and understand the right analytics. But, but absolutely, it should be up for consideration. Thank you very much. And again, thank you for considering this job.